Late Gamer Viewer here, and welcome to my channel. This is Battlefront, the beta. Uh, publisher EA and the developer uh, Digital Illusion Scene, well, also known as, or previously known as DICE or something. Well, here's the thing. EA, suck my dick and choke on it, and die, uh, die. Well, yeah, die too. But DICE, just go bankrupt or something. Each time you touch a fucking game or a franchise or an IP, you fuck it up like major fuck up, man. I don't know if... Uh, oh, man, yeah, I'm gonna suck more because I usually suck at this game, but this time, because I'm gonna do, a, like, a first impressions, I'm even gonna suck more at this. Uh, like, yeah, like I said, each time they touch a game, they fuck it up so much, it's, it's unbelievable. Like, you think they went, like, really... I would say what? Like, they went um, down further beyond the levels of quality? No! You discover they go even further down. Like, there's down the barrel and there's, I don't know, like six foot under the barrel, for fuck's sake. This, this game has so much problems that, I don't know, man, a designer in school would do those things. Or, I don't know, someone... Would you fucking die? Someone that's out, like, trying to learn? would do these mistakes, like a one-year-old new dev or a new publisher would probably do these mistakes, but no, 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 we're talking about like big, huge veterans here, EA and DIE. Why do I keep saying DIE? No, I mean DIE. Just DIE, that's what I want. That's what I have in my head, just please DIE. I, I'm fucking serious here, I'm not joking here. Oh man, the list, okay, let's talk about the good, well, no. I would say the good stuff, but before I go with the good stuff and the bad stuff, I'll, I'll tell you my, I would say like my experience, just a little short thing about my experience. I played Battlefield 2 Bad Company uh, 2, I also played, oh fuck you, I also played, um, oh man, uh, Battlefield 3, Call of Duty, well not, not the uh, latest ones, like the old ones. Recent ones, it would be like, uh, I would say, a couple of veterans, uh, but a couple of modern shooters. Um, hmm, I would say Wolfenstein comes to mind real soon. Haha, <laughs> die in there. Um, oh man, what else? Oh yes, and Planet Side 2. This one really changed my mind in how multiplayer games should be because, hey, Go ahead. Hate Sony, or hate right now. You may hate them for all they want, but I personally believe they innovated. Holy shit, what is it? Ah! Oh, fuck. Oh, you yeah, piece of shit. Fucking ass. Uh, yeah, they innovated a lot. It, it may not seem much, but going from a 32 player map to, I don't know, 64, to. Ah, oh, shit. To, I don't know, like. Like. The map in Planet Say 2 is so freaking huge, you could... It's like 200 versus 200 fights. This, this is one of the biggest I've seen. No, no, like, I mean, seriously. Most of the time it's 96-96 uh, on both sides. Well, I mean 96 on both sides. But, uh, yeah, usually it's 64 players minimum. You could go lower than that, but it really depends. That's because they, they made a lot of progress and they made a lot of effort to, I would say, tweak those kind of settings. The map is freaking huge. There's a lot of classes, there's a lot of weapons, which you can grind to your own pace, you can pay. It's a free-to-play game, by the way. You can play, you can... Fuck, you can do everything you want. Uh, I mean, you can pay, but you're not forced to do that, and they don't force you to grind a lot, which in turn is really good in my opinion because you really you need to know about the map you need to know about the weapons and how they work and everything and I'm just going around retard and dying so in other words Planet Side 2 really changed my mind on how multiplayer games should be how I believe it should be right now in 2015 there like 64 players maximum on consoles and even PC should not exist anymore I don't even see the fun. Please work. All right, please don't die this time. Ah, for fuck's sake, fuck you, man. Yeah, it's my fault. I should have went elsewhere. Good side graphics. Besides that, I'm not gonna talk about it because I don't fucking care. The sound. Um, uh, how can you fuck up the sound of Star Wars? You can't. I mean, think about it. 
EA, the most fucked up gaming company in the fucking world, made progress, well, progress, made, like, really awesome work at this. This shows you how the sound does not need work and effort to work with. Well, there's one new, uh, there's one new sound that I, that I, uh, I would say, uh, noticed. It's the detonator, uh, I don't know the name. It's not the one, like, uh, when I press number one here on my screen. It's the one that says number, um, when you, it's a power-up. It's like big, huge detonator thing. Really cool sound. A couple of times when the AT shoots. Ah, uh, when the AT sh yeah, I, I noticed them at the last uh, moment. When the AT shoots, you, um, you kind of, uh, you hear like a, I don't know, I'm gonna say a big boom, but it's not a good description. Maybe you're gonna hear it. If I do, I'm just gonna cut. <laughs> I'm just gonna... And... Yeah. You know what? Let's talk about the graphics here. I had to talk about this. EA has done such a fucked up job at this, and you're probably thinking, what the hell are you talking about? Are you fucking blind? Or, like, you're fucking nuts. No. The game looks beautiful. Look at the stats of Steam. There's a lot of people out there who have two cores, who have, like, really low and cheap computers. This is what PC gaming is a lot of the time. It's not about, like, when you talk about, or when you hear, uh, 980Ti, it's not 90% of the PC gamers that have this card. No, yeah, that's another problem, spawn points, what the fuck, dude? Oh, I didn't kill him. The graphics, man, it's so fucking no like, it's fucking annoying to know that there's a huge list of, I would say, potential customers that are not gonna play this game, even though I fucking hate it. It's... it's fucking annoying. It's really stupid on EA's part. They should have done something to tweak it down, yes, in Frostbite. Holy shit, dude, this is such a... I fucking hate this engine. It doesn't work correctly. It, it takes a huge, like... Uh, oh, really? Ooh. It takes a huge amount of resource from the computer. It's freaking insane. I just, I hate it, alright? Just look around the internet. It's not pretty with Frostbite. A lot of the time it takes a lot of resources and that should not be the case with a PC game. Given, I have a, just to tell you, like, from the start right now, I have an FX 8350, 16 gigs of RAM and a GTX 670. The graphic card really sucks, but the rest... Well, today as standard, I mean, uh, we're at what, like Titan X and everything, but still, it's it's really not enough. It's it's really good. The performance is good. I always get 60 frames a second. Honestly, I think I'm getting right now like 75 on my system. Oh yeah, this freaking annoying thing. Um, oh my god, like the game doesn't crash. Um, what else, man? It's it's really wonderful to play this game, like on a performance uh, level here, 1400. Yeah, why not? Let's buy everything here. Okay, whatever. Oh, hang on. Oh, fuck yes, my... Yeah, you know what? Let's go with this one. Oh, this is the thing before I go on and forget it. The hand cards. Why are my shortcut keys to have my own, my own settings? Nothing of that. This is cheap. Ah, trust me, I'm not finished with this piece of shit. Oh man, I've played some AI. You know what? Fuck that. We're gonna go there. We're gonna go in the AI. I'm gonna show you the AI right away. In other words, it's just like Battlefront 2, and I remember a bit Battlefront 2 because... Yeah, it fucking sucks, man. Yeah, like too many other games. I don't care. Let's go in missions here. Yeah, that's the only thing that's gonna be available. Battles, 40 players max, and you got survival. You know what survival is? It's fucking waves. That's it. Yeah, there's gonna be four maps of this. If you look further... The multiplayer, right now there's only two because it's better, like, duh. This is the usual death matches with vehicles, um, pfft, I don't know, jungle, whatever. This is in space with, uh, like, pew pew stuff. Uh, blast, I don't know, uh, like, deathmatch, pew pew, and inside a base or something. This, no fucking clue, perhaps winter, I don't know, perhaps the jungle, I, I don't know. Same thing here, I, I don't know, man, I, I really don't know. Let's go in survival here. Yeah, normal, let's try hard, and... I can't try hard? Oh, no, in the main game. Oh, fuck off. Oh, okay, looks like I can't try hard. 
Um, yeah, the AI really sucks. In Battlefront 2, that was the problem. The AI, I've even, I even have a video of this. Just look for uh, Battlefront 2 on my channel. And the AI really sucks. There's a lot of enemies at the, well, in that game that would just like run around like a retard. I literally f like followed one for what, three minutes or something? Maybe even more. It was fucking ugly. And I'm not talking about the graphics, I'm talking about the AI. This should not be a problem, at the very least. DICE and EA suck at this. And this one, that's all they do. They just run and charge me. They, they don't really react. They, they do nothing. General Agbar. I don't know why, but I can't hear him. Maybe you will. Because I got my earbuds uh, from my recording here. Yeah, let's do one here. On your mini-map, which just sucks because, you know what, if you go on sniper mode, you're not even aware of the map anymore. You see, he just goes down, he doesn't take cover, he doesn't wait for his friends. No one works together, it fucking sucks. It's, see, they're behind me, and... What the hell? Yeah, he uses a bomb, but that's it. They don't even run, they don't jump, they don't take up. They do nothing! They, they don't react like players, that's what I'm looking for! What the fuck, man? Yeah, prepare for the next wave. I'm not even gonna do that. Fuck that, man. Just wanted to show you the first wave. And yeah, if you increase the difficulty, it's gonna be a sponge-like kind of thing. You know, you, you take more, you take less damage, and they do more damage. Yeah, you know what? No, thank you. I'd rather like my AI to be a bit more smarter if I choose another kind of uh, difficulty level. You know what, let's go with vehicle gameplay doesn't feel it. I, I don't know man, low replay value, which is true, because I want to uninstall this game, but I have to inform every sub that I have on my channel, because I feel I should, because thank you for someone out there uh, to, I don't know, <sighs> I, I hate I hate dice I hate EA I fucking hate them with all my heart. Oh man, what else? Uh, I got a list here. Customizations. Can you customize your your vehicles? Uh, your you yeah. What the fuck, man? You got a Walker, which you've seen on the screen, and you're against tie interceptors. What? I don't know, man. Like you got ATs, which can shoot everything and everywhere. They spawn in front of you, like. Uh, what the fuck, man? I don't understand. What the hell, man? Spawn camping is beyond fucking... That alone wants me to uninstall the game. So, where was I? Yeah, customization. Can you customize your character? Yes, with different weapons. But can you customize your weapons? No. Uh, your character, per se. Probably later, because I see that you can change your appearance. Can you customize your weapons? No. Your vehicles? No. Uh, nothing. Is there any strategic value to this game? What I mean is this, um, man. For example, Planet Side 2, you got voice chat, which works in the game. You also have voice command. Oops. You also got voice command, like in, in that game you press V and... Oh, shit. You press V, then you press 1, 2, 3 to say thank you, yes, no, come here, whatever. Just usual, I would say, normal commands that you really need when you play in squads or with together because, you, you know, you're in a 40 versus, well, 20 versus 20 in this. Yeah, 40 players, what the fuck, man? Uh, like in this game here, which would really be useful, but no. Not at all. Nothing of that. Is there any point for me to, to play with someone else in here even though I got a partner somewhere? Yeah, he's there, right there. He's he's yellow. Why do I have him? Kill assist. He just died and I got a kill assist. Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck you. Ballard. Oh. I fucking hate this game. God. I'm torturing myself here. It's for you guys. What the fuck? Oh, man. Yeah, for strategy, man. There's... There's a thing called flanking, which you don't even need here. Like, the maps are not done properly for that. You spawn everywhere, you you appear everywhere, you die everywhere. <laughs> There's no really big point. Uh, let's see here. Let's throw that. Let's see if it works. Yeah, die later. Father likes son. Die. Yeah, let's take the shot. There is literally nothing I can do here to 
well, that I consider that has strategy value. Uh, for example, the, like, the weapons. Okay, okay I know this is Star Wars universe, but, um, uh, Star Wars, but... Shouldn't you guys, I don't know, think of other kind of weapons, other kind of vehicles, and other kind of, I don't know, characters and groups? Ah! Uh, yeah, just put them in the that you can, I don't know, choose which would really add to strategy value. Like, holy shit, just changing your weapon! Customizing your weapon would really add to the strategy value. As in, I want something fast, I don't want something... Oops. I don't want something... Oh shit. This is really hard. I don't want to... Yeah, cool. I don't want to, I don't know, shoot really fast. I want something... Ow. I want something fast or something strong, or I want to equip something that can heal others, which you don't have, that, by the way. You don't heal, you don't do anything here, you don't repair. This sucks. This is really a cheap, casual fucking game that should not exist in the first place. It looks like all the other, like all the other casual FPS, like Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, yeah, Team, uh, Team Fortress, and all the others. Well. I don't know. Team Fortress I didn't play, but all the other first-person shooters. So, you know. Uh, there's no teamwork in here. Everyone is all by themselves, and like you've seen now. Even your partner. Who cares? He's probably gonna spawn on me, but... See? That's the thing! I spawn just by an enemy. What the fuck, man? I... God, I fucking hate this game. What else? Yeah, bad spawn. I already talked about... No, I already bitched about that. Looking at my sheet of paper here, and I'm gonna fucking die. I wrote something, and I don't know what. Oh yeah, the icons. Like I don't know if you noticed, but there's some icons that makes you like go on uh, like on a, on a tie fighter. Oh shit, I mean, no, really bad. Uh, or in a walker, or in a AT, or something. They do not appear on your mini-map, they do not appear in front of your screen, they just appear when you're near them. So you really gotta know the location, which is... Oh man, this is a fucking failure. Again, this is... I mean, should you... Un... <sighs> this is one of the good points of the game. You can go in a vehicle. That's it. I'll be honest here, this is it. There's... Ah, oh, shit. There's nothing else that's good in this game. And no, graphics, I, I don't believe it's good. Well, oh, uh, I thought I had smart. <laughs> oh man, what else? Yeah, dedicated, dedicated, ugh. dedicated server, mods. I don't think there's going to be mods because, you know, you ain't dice. Never were mods in there. Uh, dedicated server? No. And what does that mean? Why is it important? Because when he ever dies, decides to, you know, Fuck people, we made enough money and it cost more. Uh, we're just gonna turn everything off. So the $60? Well, fuck you. It, it's not worth anything now. I don't believe in that. And what do you get the first time you get in the game? You get greeted by a little nice pop-up that says, Hey, you're gonna have a nice DLC. Well, yeah, welcome to the beta, blah, 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 bullshit. But it, they're also gonna say something like, um... They're also going to say something that, oh man, you were really well placed. Uh, something about a DLC. Yeah, the game is not even done and there's already DLC. And if, in case you don't know, well, I fucking hate DLC. I, I hate it from the bottom of my heart. This is one thing that should not exist. Companies created DLC for pure profit only. Not for the game, not for gamers, nothing of that. It's only for profit, money. A dough. That's it. You are nothing to them. They created. They, they they made it on purpose to cut the game, put like slice the game up and just and fuck you over with DLC so you can spend more money for what? Absolutely nothing. Oops. I don't believe in DLC. Then don't even try to argue with me with that. It's not gonna work. DLC should not exist. It's not good for the gamer. It's not good for the consumer, for the gaming industry as a whole. It should not exist if you ask me. Oh man, what else? I probably, uh, probably forgot a couple of things. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think I'm gonna stop there because I, yeah, uh, this is a beta. Bullshit.
This is early access. <laughs> this does not feel like beta. Yeah, they asked me for feedback, but no, it's... They just want to know what people think about this. I want the fuck... Ah, oh, I want to be able to... Oh, man, what else with this piece of shit? Don't buy it. If you do, you're fucking nuts and you're stupid. I'm sorry, but you are stupid. If you pre-order, uh, I don't know, get an accident or something, just don't buy it. Sell your console, sell your PC, you're not a gamer. You are not. You're hurting the industry as a... Oh, man, you're just hurting everyone. And you're just encouraging EA and DICE to continue with this piece of shit. I, it's really rare that you see me rant like this, but I really, I feel like the, oh, okay. I really feel like you should say this, you know? For fuck's sake, man. I didn't see that on the screen. What's the screen it's, it's a game that should not exist. Oh. Boom. Oh. <laughs> It feels good to be in a vehicle or just sniping someone and right? killing people in the vehicle. I really have to admit that I had fun for the first couple of hours just because of the learning curve and because it was something new. But besides that, it fucking sucks. I don't recommend it. Don't even play it. Um, like I said before, if you do well, you're an idiot. You don't deserve to game. You don't deserve to have a console. Holy shit. Yeah, bad spawning. Again, what the fuck? Yep, right in front of him. Yeah. This is what you're gonna f get. Oh, man. Where's the single player? Yeah, let me finish with that here. Ooh, Bubba Fett. Oh, DLC. <laughs> yeah, fuck DLC. Oh, man. Yes, I want to. Zero. Uh, mission is not fun. Which is true. Where's the single player? Oh, you mean missions, which were single player. Fuck you. That's it. I feel that they're gonna milk this game for DLC for... There's no microtransactions right now, but I feel there will be microtransactions right now. Anyways. That's it for me and my bitching and my rant. I hope you had fun and probably laughing or something. Well, don't buy the game. I don't recommend it. This game should frickin' die and burn in a fire. Anyways. Let Game Reviewer out. Oh, yes. Before I go on, um, I'll go, I want to go to the settings here a bit. There's one in particular. Well, two in particular. I got a surround sound. 5.1. I'll be honest. It sucks. I can't even hear it. Like, I can't even hear the people from the back. It's from the front. And yes, my speaker is my 5.1 surround sound works perfectly. So, I don't know, man. It it, it feels really weak. Uh, really, really weak. And there's another thing, the controls. I don't know why no one talked about this, but for me it was a really big pain. There's soldier sensitivity, which is not a problem, but the vehicle, oh my fucking god, yes, it's at 10%. Remember the, the little satellite thing on the ground? Uh, yeah, I have to turn that down to 10%, even 5 But when I'm in the air, like an A-Wing or TIE Fighter or something, I have to tune this up to 40%. Fuck this shit. This should not happen. Vehicle sensitivity should not be... Th there should be more. Like, every single one of the vehicles should have their own sen sensitivity settings. Is it made on purpose? I don't know. I don't care. At this point, I really don't care. And what else? Oh, colorblind. Man, dude, this is what... This should be a standard in today. Like, in today's setting. I don't know. It, it should be... Wow. <laughs> I can't believe... This is one other thing that they did good besides the vehicles. The colorblind. I love it. And, yeah, they went to good effort. They did a lot of things here. Uh, motion blur, I didn't even mess with this. Field of view, don't ask me why I didn't. I usually take this up to 90 or something. Oh, man. Quality, I set it to high. I mean, to, uh, to auto, and that's it. it. It feels good. It looks good. Uh, and the brightness, I've heard some people that, I don't know why, but it's really, really way too bright. Maybe it's a bug, but I'll, I mean, it's, it's better, so I don't know. Uh, for soldiers, I to me, I prefer third-person 
uh, perspective because of the uh, because of the uh, what do you call it the um, god damn it uh, the sniper uh, view the iron side view you still know what the hell's going on around you uh, but anyways that's that's how I that's how I do it here and uh, yeah so anyways <laughs> see